In this video, I would like to talk about the second chapter of the book by Alec Clifton Taylor called The Cathedrals of England. This chapter is entitled The General Aspect of England's Cathedrals. And the most important ideas to me in this chapter were the differences between parish churches and cathedrals and the differences between English cathedrals and the cathedrals of continental Europe. So the difference between a parish church and a cathedral is that the cathedral contains the seat of a bishop, the throne of a bishop. The bishop is the head of a district, um, has pastoral care for, for a certain district in the Christian church. And the actual name cathedral stems from this difference between parish churches and cathedrals, because cathedral stems from the Latin word cathedra, which means a throne or chair, referencing the fact that the bishop's chair was in the cathedral. Other differences between parish churches and cathedrals, which appear in England, are the fact that because dioceses in English in England are so large, they tended to there was a greater concentration of wealth within each cathedral. More people would donate to the cathedral to be commemorated, and so they were richer, which meant that architecturally that they become uh, they become more they became more elaborate, they became decoratively more, uh, more elaborate than parish churches, and their east ends uh, were also art architecturally more elaborate and larger and more embellished, also due to the presence of shrines in cathedrals and the larger, of number, larger number of clergy than in parish churches. Moving on to the differences between English cathedrals and the cathedrals of continental Europe, there are four main differences here to do with stylistic purity, the length of the naves, towers and spires, as well as the shape of the east ends of cathedrals. So starting off with stylistic purity, English cathedrals are less stylistically pure than French cathedrals. What I mean by this is that when you go into an English cathedral, throughout the cathedral you will see a collection of various different architectural periods and architectural styles, whereas usually in French cathedral it's much more common to see cathedrals built in entirely in one style, which aesthetically perhaps give, makes them better looking than English cathedrals, but in a different sense, English cathedrals feel uh, more organic and more natural, like you can see their growth throughout time, whereas this, uh, uh, this stylistic purity may give French cathedrals sometimes a sense of aloofness. Secondly, the one major difference between Another major difference between English cathedrals and French cathedrals are, that are to do with the length of the naves. Now, the nave is the western part of the cathedral from the crossing, from the bit where the, the centre of the cross to the west end. This is where the congregation of the cathedral would, would sit, the, the lay people, the people who weren't clergymen. Now, in English cathedrals, these are often very long, much lo longer comparatively than in French, than in other, other cathedrals of, of continental Europe. And this was for several reasons. Um, one being that in English cathedrals, the, the naves were usually used for a multiplicity of purposes, from staging plays or even hold, playing host to commercial transactions, as well as uh, the administration of justice, which obviously required more space than, than just uh, simple worship would provide, but also the, uh, the requirements of English worship um, were, the, the, the English worship um, throughout the hi history required many more altars, and as the number of altars which were required grew, the, the naves needed to be extended to accommodate, accommodate those. Moving on to another difference, another difference is that in English cathedrals we have uh, flat east ends. Now this stems from Anglo-Saxon times, where in Anglo-Saxon churches the cathedrals were built, or Anglo-Saxon churches were built with flat east ends, as compared to the apsidal or curved east ends of continental European cathedrals. This is probably due to the fact that, given England is a bit more northerly than is, is more northerly than continental Europe, there's less sunlight, and so in order to maximise the amount of available sunlight, the east ends were kept as flat. Fin uh, finally, uh, the English cathedrals more, more often have towers or spires on top of them. That's because generally the naves of English cathedrals are much lower than the naves of the cathedrals, say, in, in France. And 
this, this meant that it's structurally possible to put a large tower on top, because if you try to do the same in a French cathedral, then the weight of the tower would require arches so big as to obstruct, uh, obstruct uh, the, the, the view down the, the, down the length of the French cathedral. So these are the differences between parish churches and, and cathedrals, as well as the differences between English cathedrals and the cathedrals of continental Europe.